Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotox here. So today I'm back again with another speed test for y'all, and this time the speed test is going to be between the Samsung Galaxy S21 on the right and the LG Velvet on the left. So let's go ahead and talk about the specs on both these devices. I'm going to go ahead and start with the S21. The S21's chipset is going to be the Snapdragon 888, so the best flagship chipset right now. And then the LG Velvet is going to have the 765G, Snapdragon 765G. So it's a chipset meant for devices that aren't flagship level. So they're for the average user and they aren't flagship level chipsets. And so it is a lower end chipset and it's probably not going to be as good as this. And normally it shouldn't be, but we're going to go ahead and test that out today in this video. So next up, let's go ahead and talk about RAM real quick. We have 8GB of RAM on the Samsung Galaxy S21, and we have 6GB of RAM on the LG Velvet. So, as you can see already, that LG Velvet is a glossy device right here, and then we have a matte finish on here with the plastic bag. So, without further, further ado, I'm going to go ahead and begin. First up, we're going to go ahead and start with the boot up test. So, in 3, 2, 1. Okay. So, they're both booting up right now. Let's go ahead and wait for that. Very close. The LG Velvet is loading up its AT&T thing. And boom, LG Velvet's already up and running. Let's go ahead and wait for the S21, which is still loading. It's taking a little while, longer than usual, at least. Come on there, Samsung. Can't We can't be lacking behind this far. And boom, so the S21 is up and running as well. So the LG Velvet definitely beat it up on this one. Uh, it beat it by a couple seconds actually, like around seven seconds, seven, eight seconds. So the win goes for the LG Velvet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these devices both set up. So let's go ahead and open them both up. Let's go ahead and plug in my pin real quick. Boom. And boom, so they're both starting up now and let's go ahead and get to our screen. So we're on our app screen on both of these devices. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the brightness down a little so it can make it easier to see. I believe that's pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and put the phones together and let's go ahead and give it a couple seconds. So since I just turned on both these phones, they're gonna be going ahead and doing some background downloads, which I know that it will affect it a lot and that's why I'm waiting because I remember in a test that I did before with the Pixel device, there were some background downloads and the reason for that was because I had just turned on the device and I didn't let it go ahead and stay on for a little while until it finished all of its things. So we're waiting on the S21 right now. As you can see, it's doing a couple things. The LG Velvet seems fine right now. Uh, yep. So nothing wrong with the LG Velvet right now. I believe our do not disturb is on for both these so we don't get any notifications in between the tests. And I think they're okay now. So let's go ahead and begin. As I said, uh, the, snap, the flagship chipset is on the S21 and we have a lower end chipset, a budget chipset on the LG Velvet. So normally this should win, the S21 should win. However, that's what we're gonna be testing out today and seeing which one opens up the apps first uh, in our first test. So let's go ahead and begin. In three, two, one, let's start with Snapchat real quick. Okay, so the S21 did pull it up first, but by a slight bit, Instagram. Okay, so that was the S21 again. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and allow, allow, allow. Okay, Twitter in three, two, one. Okay, so S21 right there. Did load up the latest tweets first. YouTube in three, two, one. Boom, YouTube, and right there, YouTube is first on the S21, Amazon in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so the LG Velvet took that right there, point for the LG Velvet. Best Buy, boom. Okay, so that's going to be the S21. Let's go to Among Us. Now we're in our game section. Let me go ahead and turn down the volume. Okay, so that was very similar. Bring down the volume on both these devices. Okay, boom. Let's go to SRW Smashy Road 1 to 2. And let's go ahead and see which one opens up first. Okay, so that was gonna go for the LG Velvet. The LG Velvet does take the win right there. Let's go ahead and close out both. 
Let's go to Subway Surfer now. Let's go to see which one opens up first now. So the S21 is loading up first. Let's go ahead and wait. And the LG Velvet takes the lead right there. The S21 couldn't catch up in the final second. The S21 was beating it, but then the LG Velvet took the lead. So Temple Run 2 now. Again, the S21 is loading up first. But all we need, and boom, the LG Velvet just went in first again. So let's go ahead and wait for the animations to load up. And boom, right there. As you can see, the LG Velvet did take the win right there. Now let's go to Dead Trigger 2. So these are a little more heavy games. They're more demanding. So let's go ahead and begin Dead Trigger 2. And boom. Let's go ahead and wait on these now. Loading, please wait. Okay, we're gonna, so it loaded in the first home screen, the main screen on the S21. So now we're gonna click play in three, two, one. And let's go ahead and see which one opens up first. So it seems like, yep, it was the LG Velvet. So the LG Velvet is going really strong right now, even with that Snapdragon uh, 765G. It's taking the lead actually, with the games at least. So it loaded in first over here. Okay, so one thing I can tell you all right now is the S21 is a little hot. I can feel that it's getting a little hot. Not sure why, but right here, it's a little hot right now. It's a little warm. So we're going to go ahead and go open PUBG Mobile real quick in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so the S21 did load that screen up first. And we're going to go ahead and wait for it. Okay, PUBG Mobile on the S21. Checking for updates on both of them. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and close it. Boom. And it's loading in on both. Okay, so I feel like the S21 is going to take the lead, but not sure yet. It's very close. And boom. The S21 does take this one. But as I said, uh, the S21 might be thermal th throttling right now because I do feel a little heat and Samsung, the device may be limiting its processing power. So it doesn't get as hot, but I do feel some heat right there. Um, I believe that's where the camera, no, the camera module is on that side. But as I said, there's some heat forming over here. So let's go ahead and close out both of these now. And now we're on to our RAM management test. So as you saw right there, the LG Velvet kept up perfectly. Uh, there were some times when the S21 did beat it. And then in the games that LG Velvet did take the lead, it was beating it more it opened up the games, it loaded them up first. However, I'm not exactly sure why. The S21 should have done it first, but it is getting a little hot right now. So that might be the reason. So now, as I said, RAM management, let's go to Snapchat, right there. Okay, so they both kept it open. Instagram, open on both, Twitter. So the LG Velvet had a reload right there. YouTube, okay, Amazon. A reload on both of these for some reason best buy okay they loaded up again they're both reloading among us and boom had to refresh again so ram management isn't going great right now smash world wanted to and they're both turn not in the ram right now ram management is going terrible not sure why but as i said in previous videos with my s21 and when i did a speed test this, these phones definitely need more RAM. Android phones, look right there. So it kept it open on the LG Velvet, but the S21 failed to keep it open. Even with eight gigabytes of RAM, it's not enough. Temple Run 2, boom, reload on both of them. So as of right now, it's going terribly. Uh, they're reloading basically every application, which should not be expected, especially when one of them is supposed to be a flagship device right there. Dead Trigger 2, these are probably gonna reload. And yep, as I said, they're reloading. Okay, close out of these. Now let's go on to PUBG Mobile. Let's go to see if we have a reload on this. And boom. So we basically had a reload on every single app except for three or four apps, which comes to show that the RAM management is not the best on these devices. I'm not exactly sure why, but they haven't been able to keep apps open perfectly. So it's a little weird that this is happening, especially, as I said, I'm going to be repeating myself again, but this is the truth right here, especially when the S21 is labeled as a flagship device and it can't keep these apps open, even when it's going against a chipset that is way lower and this device right here, the LG 
Velvet does have six gigs of RAM and it still managed to catch up with the S21 right there. So it was a little disappointing. But now that we're done with that and we saw the results from that, uh, I can conclude right here that the LG Velvet is really similar to the S21. RAM management wise, they're both terrible. They weren't able to keep open any apps. I'm not sure why, but they just weren't able to. And then when opening apps in the first test, the LG Velvet seemed to load up games first. However, the S21 did basically take the lead on everything else right there. And now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and close all of our apps. And I'm going to go ahead and let these phones cool down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here. Just let them cool down for a couple minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and do our Geekbench CPU benchmark. So let me go ahead and pause the video right here and I'll be right back. So now that I've let both the phones cool down for a couple of minutes, like around 10 minutes or so, I'm going to go ahead and run the CPU benchmark test. So let's go ahead and open up Geekbench 5. And let me also show you that every app is closed in the background other than Geekbench 5 right now. And let's go ahead and run it. So it goes ahead and shows us some of the things, four cores, three cores, one core, six cores, one core, one core, uh, Qualcomm, ARM and whatnot, the OS model and whatnot. So we can go ahead and skip that and go ahead and run the CPU benchmark. I'm gonna go ahead and run this right now. And let's go ahead and see and wait for the results. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video real quick cause these do take a couple of minutes, like two to three minutes and I don't wanna bore y'all just by watching this. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and I'll get back to y'all once this is over. So now that we got both the tests done, they're both done, let's go ahead and check out the scores real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and start with single cores on both of these. On the S21, as you can see, we have 1088, and then on the LG Velvet, we have 612. And for the multi-score, let's go ahead and check it out, 3347, 1959. So this goes ahead and shows us that the S21 is a far better performing device. Well, it should be by the numbers since it does have a flagship chipset, which is the best chipset out right now for any Android device. And then also we're comp comparing that to a chipset that was released last year and it was meant for medium range devices. So it wasn't the best chipset anyways in the first place. But with the scores, we can already tell that the S21 does win for sure. However, when we did the test, you already saw that the RAM management test, they were both terrible. And then also loading the apps up, the LG Velvet did load up games first. Not by a lot, but it still did. So just by these benchmark results, I'm gonna go ahead and give it for the S21, but if I was talking about daily use case, the they would both be very similar. You probably wouldn't see too big of a difference. Maybe along the years, after a couple years, you'll start to notice since you do have a lower end chips on the LG Velvet. However, as of right now, if you were just using these devices for a year, you probably wouldn't see too big of a difference, especially in basic applications that most people use like social media apps and then also like shopping apps and whatnot however in games i haven't shown you all those however i did go ahead and test these out before and in pubg or like let's say other games pubg dead trigger when you go to the graphic settings the s21 can bring up everything to the max however the lg velvet is limited to around half of what the s21 can do so as you all saw uh the s21 did definitely win and so I'm going to go ahead and give the win to the S21. However, uh, as I said, daily use case, you'll probably get similar results. And now that's going to be it for the video. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.